Hello and welcome to this video. The purpose of this video is to compute the probabilities associated with the binomial distribution using Excel. This allows us to graph the binomial distribution easily and makes uh, a lot of other computations pretty easy. To have a binomial distribution I need to know the number of trials, which I'll label n, and let's suppose for this example that we'll have 15 trials. I also need to know the probability of success, which I'll call p. And let's suppose that for this example, we'll set a value of p of uh, 0.8. The next thing we need to do is uh, set up our actual values. And I'll call these x. I want to go from 0 through 15. I can get that by just dragging it down. Oops, need to go one more. Okay, so these are our x values. Excel has a built-in function that will do the actual computations for me. So I type an equal sign, the function, that's the first one that comes up, uh, binomdist, and I put in the number x that I'm going to use, the number of trials, which in this case is 15, and I'll put dollar signs in front of the B1 so that uh, no matter where I put this formula it will reference that particular cell. The probability, which again in my case is 0.8, and again I'll put the dollar signs here so that it always references that cell. And then I'll put in faults to indicate that I don't want a cumulative distribution. And I hit return and it gives me a pretty small number. And then again I drag this down to all 15 uh, values and there it is. That's my binomial distribution. We can now use these values to graph the distribution. So let's select the actual values. Go up and click on a bar graph, a bar chart. make this large enough that we can see it. And then I need to tell it to get the x values from, oops, right here. Okay, so I should be able to hit OK. And there we have it. This shows us the binomial distribution when n is equal to 15 and p is equal to 0.8. And you can see that for these values, it's most likely that I'll have 12 successes. The probability of 12 successes is 0.25. The next highest one is uh, 13 successes, which is 0.231. You can see out here uh, the probability of zero successes is really, really small. So. Anyways, that's how we can compute and graph the binomial distribution using Excel. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thanks for watching.